Hey everybody, Real here, Real Inland Fishing. Thanks for joining me out here in Okanagan Lake doing something different today. I'm chasing kokanee instead of rainbow trout. I'd love a feed of kokanee for the barbecue tonight. It's early August, it's a hot day. It's gonna push 35 degrees today, Celsius. Um, no speedboats yet, but speedboats will be out. But uh, let's get at it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna persevere. I'm going to find some kokanee and I'm gonna get me a feed. I'll share along the way what I'm using, um, what speed I'm going, show you my fish finder. Hopefully uh, uh, it helps you next time you're out chasing a feed of kokanee. Thanks again for following. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. let this one go. And this one's a keeper kokanee. That's one for supper anyway. All right, so uh, uh, as you can tell, I'm in my yard. It was busy out on the lake and it was hot, so I decided to talk about my setup back at home. So um, first off, I want to talk about my rod and reel setup. So on one side, I was using, this is an ultralight rod. It's designed for kokanee. Okuma SST. Full disclosure, I don't have any endorsements with this company. This particular rod is very, very light. Um, probably a bit light for some of the larger ling rainbow trout in Okanagan Lake, but a fantastic kokanee rod. And then I have a line counter. This is an electronic line counter uh, reel. You don't need a line counter, but it's really handy. So I'll let out about 75 feet of line before I hook it onto my downrigger and drop it down. So um, it's, you know, line counter is just easier. You're not sitting there counting how many pulls, but um, hey, if you don't have a line counter, that's okay too. Just try to get about 75 feet, 100 feet of line out behind your boat. Um, that works really well. And the other thing that's important with the reel is um, a high gear ratio. So you'll see in my videos when I'm reeling in kokanee, I'm just doing like a steady, a steady reel. I'm not, you know, going crazy. That's because this uh, this particular reel, well, both my reels, I'll show you the other one in a minute, have high gear ratios. This one's five to one, I think. Um, so. You get a lot of line coming in for each crank. So nice steady crank that way and uh, really flexible ultralight rod um, is preferred. I'll talk about snubbers and if you don't have an ultralight rod, that's okay. You can uh, add a snubber to your lure and I'll show you that in, in another video here. Um, and that'll, that'll replace kind of the ultralight. I, uh, 
straight setup. My second setup, I've shown this one before. This is my favorite go-to all-around rod and reel. It works well for rainbow trout, where the other one I think is a bit light for rainbow trout. This one is a kokanee black. It's a kokanee black okuma reel or rod. And then I have the okuma convector line counter low profile reel on it again high gear ratio um, light action a little bit stiffer than the other one but uh, plenty light for the kokanee and i don't typically use a snubber with it and do pretty well so nice steady steady crank about 75 feet 100 feet of line out behind the boat drop it down to your depth and uh the way you go. All right, so I dropped my lines down to uh, 60 and 70 feet. You can see my two downrigger balls. That's the solid line there. You can see right around 85 feet, you, that one mark, that's a rainbow trout. And then you can see between, say, 30 feet and 50 feet. Um, you can see lots of kokanee there. So that's what you're looking for on your fish finder. And uh, what I'm doing is I'll, lit, I'll put my lines in at around 50 feet in this particular case. Sorry about the glare here, um, but here's a screenshot of my fish finder and you can see I'm trolling along a uh, drop off in about 120 to 130 feet of water. I'll also go out deeper um, on occasion. But also notice the speed. So right now I'm 2.4 mile an hour. For kokanee, I'll be somewhere between 1.8 and 2.4. I won't go too much faster than that. Um, with 2.1 kind of being my my target speed and notice the surface temperature is about 73 and a half degrees so that's pretty warm keep that in mind when you're releasing fish at that temperature the mortality rate goes up so you know you may end up keeping more fish than you normally would working this morning out there on Okanagan Lake well first off kokanee fishing always need some kind of dodger or flasher lots of lots of different brands some Gibbs brands um, but this morning my go-to was first off this max sling blade this is the five inch they come in smaller sizes this particular one um, summertime bright sunny day I like more flash, so I go to the larger size. This one's five and a quarter inches or something like that. Pink, lots of flash. What I like about the sling blades by Max is uh, they have, you can bend them. So you can adjust how much action you get from them. So that's kind of the bend I had this morning. Hopefully you can see that. Worked really well, the pink. And then also I had the Brad's Extreme Kokanee Dodger. This one uh, I particularly like. It has a lot of glow and uh, works really well in the lakes in this area. 
Um, and full disclosure, I don't have any endorsements with these companies. Those are just the two I was using today. All right. So then, in terms of uh, lures, I had um, this orange. You can see, and it's got an orange and chartreuse smile blade in front of it and some beads. Um, and about a 24 inch or so liter on it. And then I also had, and I also had a micro, pink micro hoochie. And I like in front of my um, hoochies this time of year to put a blade. So you can see this one had a pink and silver blade with some beads in front of it. Lots of flash again. Uh, but the 24 inch leader works well leader length's important and I will shorten the leader up if I want more action so the theory there is the closer you have the hoochie to your dodger or your sling blade the more it moves around so if you're finding the bite is slow you can try shortening up your leader um, this morning a long leader seemed to work I think the fish were a little bit lethargic, so um, I wasn't looking for as much action. I was just looking for more flash and then uh, some scent. So the talk about scent now. So the way I would tip my hoochies is uh, you probably already seen. If you haven't, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. I've got a video there called Get Your Corn On. Show you how I make my fire corn. But what I'll do is I'll put a piece of corn in a an imitation maggot pink maggot um and also i'll do that on both of the hooks that personally i like the maggot to be crossways crossways on the hook you guys can see that crossways on the hook with the hook exposed kind of like that and there you go so the fire gorn has lots of scent the hoochie's got lots of flash the sling blade's got lots of flash to attract them and vibrate and uh, that seemed to do the trick out there today um, one last thing to talk about Particularly if you're um, you knew the kokanee fishing, or as I mentioned, I use really light ultralight kokanee rods. If you don't have ultralight kokanee rods and you have something that's a little more stiff, um, highly recommend you get yourself some snubbers. Right, and that just absorbs the hit from the fish, and put the snubbers on the back of your your uh, sling blade like that and then put your then attach your hoochie so what happens there what happens there is when the uh, fish comes along kokanee comes along they have really soft mouths and i've gotten a lot of messages from people they're losing a lot of the fish out there um, get yourself a snubber you can see that and it'll absorb some of that so when you're reeling in the fish, you're not pulling the hook out of the fish's mouth. So there you go. That's my setup. Sling blade. Brad's Extreme Kokanee Dodger. Micro Hoochie. Did the trick for me today. Hope that helps you catch more fish. It's hot. It's 37 degrees. It's not easy fishing. Lots of wakeboards, wake boats, jet skis, people enjoying the lake. And I'm dodging around. But I got it done, baby. I'm Real Russo. This is Real Alien Fishing. Let's go!